What's up guys, Ryan here, Flyfish Iowa. Hey, we need to talk about a serious problem today. The never ending problem of excessive nutrients falling into Iowa waterways. Specifically, in recent history, we've seen a massive spill of nitrogen into the Nishnabotna River system, which has caused a fish kill for dozens and dozens of miles. A fisheries biologist who was working on the situation and covered over 50 miles of river in his study of it, he said that he had never dealt with a situation like this before. Not only did this spill affect fish, but it's killing invertebrates too, like worms, it's killing frogs, it's killing potentially even turtles, it's killing snakes. So someone at the new cooperative plant left a valve open and apparently it let 265,000 gallons of this stuff get out into the river system. This spill has gone so far that it has stretched all the way into the Missouri River system. And while some of those fisheries are large enough that it might not have the immediate impact that it does on these smaller fisheries, this is still a huge issue and will continue to be an issue as this spill works its way down the Missouri River system. The Iowa DNR even is recommending that residents that live near this area to have their drinking water tested for nitrates because nitrates are definitely not something you want to be consuming. Now, here's the unfortunate part. Did you know that already a lot of our well water and a lot of the water that's in Iowa is already contaminated by nitrates to an unhealthy level? This is not a new issue. Just because we saw this massive spill, a lot of locals around the spill are probably more concerned about their drinking water. But this is something that Iowa has faced for a significant amount of time at this point. We all just don't hear it talked about much. While yes, this was an absolutely horrendous spill with massive proportions beyond what we usually see in Iowa, this same thing happens on a small scale every single day in Iowa. Here's what I mean. When we are constantly adding nutrients to our fields, we are seeing the extra nutrients run off into our waterways. This is not something that farmers want to happen. Farmers want to see their fertilizer and what they need to help their crops grow effectively. They want to see those things stay on their fields and not be flushed away. But all the fertilizer companies, they don't want that. The fertilizer companies are gonna to continue to sell their product and they're gonna say that you need more fertilizer than you probably do. What this leads to is it leads to our waterways being constantly polluted with excessive nitrates, which leads to things like algal blooms, it leads to unhealthy water quality, it leads to drinking water being contaminated with nitrates, and eventually, as this water works its way down to the Mississippi River system, we end up with something called the dead zone, which is a massive zone in the Gulf of Mexico where literally things cannot survive because there is so many nitrates and phosphates in there that they are not able to survive. Once again, this problem, this fish spill on the Nishnabotna River, terrible, massive scale, big deal, but it's not going to end. We see small scale impacts like this all the time. According to a Des Moines Register article, there are at least 721 Iowa water bodies that do not meet Iowa's standard for water quality, for recreation, public water supply, and the protection of aquatic life. That's a huge deal. Between the year 2020 and the year 2022, there have been 47 documented fish kills in Iowa. 47. This one on the Nishnabotna River system, this is not the first one, and it certainly won't be the last. It's terrible to say. I really wish it was the last one, but it won't be. In fact, just this week, there's another spill being reported on the Nishnabotna River system. This time, it's gasoline, and it's being added into the river system, and there will probably be some fish that struggle from that if there's any left that are alive after this massive fertilizer spill. What causes all these fish kills? According to the DNR, animal waste, fertilizers, and pesticides accounted for more than half of these 47 fish kills. The causes of a third of the kills were unknown. This is something that's continually happening in Iowa, and it is unacceptable. In Iowa, only 24% of our streams are considered healthy by water quality standards. Only 30% of our lakes are considered healthy by Iowa water quality standards. This is completely unacceptable. The water monitoring supervisor for the DNR he said that we're going to see fluctuations based on climate, how much rainfall we're getting, what the stream levels are. According to the Des Moines Register, the water monitoring supervisor declined to speculate about water quality trends in the state, but said the department has worked to increase its monitoring in recent years. Unfortunately, a lot of these employees with the DNR, their hands are tied. They know the science behind all this stuff. They understand the data. 
that our water is not up to standard. Our water quality is horrendous in Iowa. We have some of the most polluted water in all of the United States. Now, they can't necessarily speak up on that because their organization also works closely with some other um, agencies that certainly need the money that comes from things like fertilizer. So, Iowa is an agricultural run state. That's not a secret. Yes, there are sacrifices that probably have to be made in order for agriculture to work. But having a fish kill like this, unacceptable. Having more than half of your waterways in the entire state be considered not healthy, that's unacceptable. This has to change and something needs to change. Otherwise, we're going to continue to have these fish kills. Where's the accountability? What's going to be done? What are the consequences that these big corporations are going to face? Now, I'm just a small YouTube channel, but if we continue to start to put pressure on these larger companies that they need to own up to their actions, we need to continue to demand that water quality improves. This is our lives we're talking about. Iowa has some of the highest cancer rates in the United States as well. Coincidence? Probably not. Now look, just complaining about these things isn't going to make a difference. So we have to work together. We have to continue to fight for water quality. We have to continue to fight for conservation and fight for the things that matter to us. As outdoorsmen, we should care about things like stewardship of our natural resources. We should care about populations of wildlife. We should care about the cleanliness of our waterways. Those are very important things. Unfortunately, this was not the most happy video, but I need you guys to understand that this is happening. This is Iowa, and we want it to be better. The people want better, and we need to continue to demand better from our state. Thank you for watching. Appreciate your time. Tight lines. We'll see you on the water.